this time Hunter comes in and has some talking to do to Chris Nyland, the former Montreal Canadian tough guy who has done a marvelous job in the lineup for the Rangers. They've been winning with him wearing a Rangers sweater. Alf Dallin's 26th goal of the season. New York leads for the first time in the game, 2-1. to one. Puck cleared back inside the zone, and here's a hard hit. Oh, Van Beesbrook barreled over by Hunter. Van Beesbrook is throwing the punches on Hunter, and now everybody jumps in. Scott Stevens comes in and tries to grab on. Larry Murphy's underneath it there, and Ivan Korovo also involved. Pete Peters staying in his goal, although Van Beesbrook is out there as the New York goaltender, and... Hunter has to go back to the penalty box. They get rid of him right away, and now there are a lot more Rangers in that corner than there are Capitals. Now, Peters comes out of the net. He immediately gets a penalty as well, and Van Beesbrook has gone back to his crease, leaving his teammates to mop up. He got it started and then took off in a hurry. He was hit by Hunter as he went to play the puck on the sideboards. Ogrodnik and Stevens holding on, and Mark Hardy has been broken up from Ivan Korovo. And they're going to take them to the penalty boxes now, too. Even Ron Finn and Ray Scapanello, the two captains there, are in that little semicircle by the bench. Now, here's how it all begins. Van Beesbrook goes out to play the puck. Now, in theory, he is, a he is allowed to be hit. It rarely happens, and it's almost like the courtesy. You see how quickly... Oh, Grodnik, I guess that is, jumps in there. Korovo continues then to fly in as Van Beesbrook started to whale away. Now here's another look at it. Any member of, the of any team on the ice who touches the puck is allowed to be hit. But you just don't do that to the goaltender. Oh, he and, charged him, too. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's the other thing. And the Rangers are right to go after Hunter in that situation. 